Hey there, Paul Wagler here for Rise Now and the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, here I am sitting on the back deck and uh, reminiscing a little bit about some uh, tasks we did a few days ago. Uh, you can see the, the, the gap filler, the foam insulation that's bulging out here and has to be cut off. We, uh, we put in a new dryer vent and a new uh, vent for our uh, downdraft on our new cooktop. And uh, so we came through the brick and we had to fill in the gaps and, and some of the foams came up here. Well, in the process, after my nephew Nathan did such a fine job with helping me with all of this, after he was gone, I had some of this left over and I was filling some other gaps. And in the process, I got some on my hands. Well, I don't know if you've ever used this stuff, but getting it on your hands is a really bad idea. Well, uh, when I was reading on the, on the can here, it says that if you get it on your hands, it must be mechanically removed or it must wear off. And I was like, what? Mechanically removed or wear off? I mean, this stuff does, just does not wash off. Well, this happened on a Saturday and I was going to speak somewhere on the Sunday morning and my hands on Saturday afternoon looked horrible. They were like stained and, and so I started like rubbing them on the bricks here to, to wear things off and it got to on Sunday morning uh, I actually used sandpaper. I thought I'm going to be speaking and my hands are going to, you know, I talk with my hands kind of like I do now <laughs> and I'm like I had these big stains so I actually just started going like this sanding off my hands. Well anyway all of this got me thinking a little bit about a verse from Psalm 24. It says, who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands, that which I didn't have, <laughs> he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to any idol or swear by what is false. So it got me thinking about clean hands and dirty hands. You know, there's two sorts of dirty hands that we talk about sometimes in society. There's uh, the saying of, well, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. And that so often is referred to somebody who is willing to work hard and maybe do some hard tasks that uh, are, are need to be done. And that's a good kind. And then there's another way we refer to it is like, sometimes we might say something like, oh, they got their hands a little dirty on that one. And that means they were somebody, usually that's implying that somebody was involved in something they shouldn't have been. Uh, they, they maybe were a little shady, maybe something that was uh, like not really above the above board. And that's something we want to avoid. But no matter what is going on, we want to keep our hands clean and our hearts pure so that we can ascend the hill of the Lord, we can stand in His holy place. But the good news of the gospel is that when we have failed, when we have messed up, we can confess our sins. It's First John 1, 9, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. We can be cleansed. We can be washed clean. We can have the stains removed off of our hands. Well, I just wanted to share that with you, and if you're in that kind of a place where you need some cleansing, I just encourage you, confess your sins, and he is, God is faithful and just, and he will forgive your sins and cleanse you and make you clean and whole once again. Well, a few things for you to think about, and until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.